All right, boys and girls, this is the last one. This is the last of our pregens, and it is, of course, our vitality mage. Now, I know that's spelt funny, but it is pronounced Sheila. Sheila, orphan of Genesis. She is a nature survivalist. She is an elemental adept. And despite all appearances, a primitive brute. Now, Sheila's background is that she was just a child when her entire world was overrun by not one, but by a dozen of Yaniv who drained the shade from her home within hours. For reference, Shade Mage's killing a realm is something that happens because they drain the shade from it and the shade is its life force of every realm. However, this process usually takes about anywhere from a week to a month of just constant pulling, constant harvesting the shade from a realm. The Yaniv did this within the space of a few hours. And her home was made by a shade mage named Genesis. And the inhabitants knew of Genesis, the shade mage, and someone had to survive to let Genesis know that her world had fallen. And Sheila's mission is to protect the life source of her home and find Genesis at all costs. Sheila has, despite being a young child at the time, uh, many skills. She's highly trained in acrobatics, athletics, endurance, healing, history, intimidate, nature, and religion. She's slightly trained in insight, stealth, streetwise, and thievery. But she has no points in bluff, diplomacy, or perception even. Her shade dominions and attributes. Her shade vessel is the world tree seed. As her world was dying, there was a massive tree, an and, and, uh, Idrasi sort of entity that gave her clan and her tribe and her world all of its vitality. And her, her childlike love and faith in this, in this, uh, in this icon of her world was that to preserve a seed from this tree. And so Sheila was but a child when she had run into the sanctum of the world coil, the center of a world engine that could keep the shade regenerating, but it was being destroyed. At the very core, the world trees, the world tree sea had but a glimmer of life left. And it was her desire to keep it alive that sprouted her pact with the shade. A little more context. Genesis is a shade mage. And Genesis makes and is the exclusive proprietor of world coils. And the purpose of a world coil is to make a, a, a realm that is so filled with shade that when the Yaniv are invariably attracted to it like moths to a flame, that the realm itself begins to erupt with natural defenses. And when those defenses are destroyed, as the Yaniv will eventually destroy them, it replenishes the shade back into the realm so that the realm can summon up the defenses again to overpower and overcome the Yaniv attacking it. World coils are both um, repulsants and attractants to the Yaniv to, in, to intentionally show them a big shiny object and then swat them after. In this instance, though, a dozen showed up at once, which almost never happens. So as a consequence, Sheila became an avatar of vitality. With the, hunger, with the hunger for growth and nourishing nature provided by the world tree seed. Shade cantrips. This is how Sheila expresses her, her, uh, her magic, her, her, her powers when she's not casting spells. Sheila is an elemental adept with the power of vines and thorns and flora at her beck and call. Vines and thorns can stretch, up, can stretch out to assist 
in physical checks to jump, climb, grip, and hang. Deep roots can tap into the memories of the land for history and knowledge checks. I like this aesthetic because she is a child of a world that was completely interconnected. So her ability to connect and understand other worlds is an innate skill. Also, Sheila is very connected with other flora and fauna. So the scents and pheromones of flora can be used in her advantage in a social checks to bluff, to intimidate, to um, uh, arouse. And uh, in conversation, she, she can be very, uh, very persuasive if she wants to. Spells. First and foremost, her shade vessel is the World Tree Seed, and her vessel champion is a champion that erupts from this seed. And its goal is to protect her. It, it is a pacifist kind of monster, but it is, a mo it is a behemoth in size. And its power is determined, it is largely determined by the amount of shade that Sheila possesses and the amount of shade she put into summoning him and the amount of sip left on her shade vessel. So all of these things contribute to the massive size and power of her champion. Uh, again, a champion is not dismissed whenever the conflict ends. It stays with her. You will see this Groot-like monster, this female Groot-like monster um, with Sheila, holding Sheila, traveling with Sheila, and, you know, protecting Sheila wherever they can. It, it, it is a, this is a, to Sheila, this is, th this is her home walking with her. Her growth spells are um, growth spurt, which until the end of turn gives gives uh, her creatures or her champion uh, an additional plus three toughness and plus three power and damage. That's how that works. Uh, harmonize is also something that she will use to heal herself after taking damage, and she will heal herself exactly as many times as she sipped from her from her shade vessel, which is the the vessel champion. Um, and which brings us to her nature spells. Rust and erode will act as her um she does not like artifacts, she doesn't like advanced technology. And uh if Sheila were to ever meet Hugo, that's gonna be an awkward uh awkward meetup, let me tell you. Um snaring and snaring tendrils is an awesome spell that uh, as soon as she's engaged in combat or something attacks Sheila, she can cast ensnaring tendrils and vines will sprout out of the earth and ensnare them and deal damage to them. Now, it will, after automatically um, exhausting them and dealing a damage, no, after dealing one damage to anything that's attacking her, uh, they will also be uh, exhausted by being ensnared by by the uh, by the vine sprouting from the ground. And lastly we have tranquility, which is a, a basically a massive um it, it, tranquility is a spell that costs 3 and it basically turns off all of the shade in the area. She is returning the natural world to default settings and that is where she wants it. And this will be important to understanding some of her aspects. Speaking of, Sheila is a beast master. When she encounters a natural beast, Sheila may attempt a nature versus insight skill uh, uh, with it. So she's rolling nature, the beast is rolling insight. If she succeeds, the natural beast treats her as if it had been shade summoned by her, so she has this affinity with with animals that that make them want to obey her. Oh my goodness! My apologies. Beefy. All of Sheila's combat attacks add damage equal to the growth shade to her great growth shade capacity. That number is five. 
So all of her attacks add five, is going to deal at least five damage. Think about that. That that is that, that's she's gonna auto wound a shade mage every turn. That's how strong this girl is, and intentionally so. That this is this isn't a bug; it is a feature. And for her character aspect, she also has restoration. Uh, whenever an aspect is deactivated or destroyed, uh, uh, whether that's an aspect spell or a character aspect, um. She can replenish her Vitality Shade Vessel by one sip level. So every time she turns off an aspect from another, from either another player, uh, an opponent, or she is um, just cleansing an area of magical effects, uh, she is regenerating her Shade Vessel. She's restoring Shade to her Shade Vessel. But for all of this, there are costs. The price of being stained with vitality is you can never bargain for what you can take by force and must reject and destroy advanced technology and the shade along with it. The vitality is the anti-shade dominion. Uh, the vitality longs for a world before the shade could manipulate it. And the shade enjoys that relationship. So the the vitality dominion is the dominion that is the most anti shade itself, and that is an intentional relationship. And this is all a price that Sheila has embraced without a second thought or regret. So here are Sheila's shade affliction: she can never bargain for what she can take by force. And to honor the survival of the fittest, Sheila must accept any challenge to combat. Also. Uh, Sheila must cleanse all areas she passes through by deactivating all shade aspects to restore the natural order. So anywhere she goes, if there is shade magic being uh, used and manipulated, she has to restore the balance and turn it off somehow. That is her compulsion. That is what she must do. Which is going to make... Uh, which, which is... Which is a far greater um, plot hook than most people uh, most people would anticipate. Artifacts. Now, Sheila's vine weave garments are the enchanted leaves and vines that are used simultaneously as clothing, as well as an extension of her reach in combat. Sheila's not wearing any clothes; like she's literally just covered in plants. Vines, leaves, and foliage are her only covering. And as long as she's in possession of her clothing, all of her attacks have the ranged aspect, meaning um, she can hit flying targets. The vines that lash and uh, writhe around her can literally be used to extend and lash out and hit anything that she can see within sight. Um... Sheila's thorn bracelets are enchanted thorns and vines that cut and twist with every blow she delivers in combat. And this grants her attacks the cleave aspect. Now, for those of you who remember from previous videos, cleave is trample. All of the damage doesn't stop at the first wound. It continues on to the next wound. And if it runs and if it runs out of wounds, it jumps to the next target. All of the damage from that attack will be dealt <laughs> if it has the cleave aspect. That's that's how cleave works in the shade, Shades of Dominion. So those are the thorn bracelets. And lastly, she wields two branching branches. Say that five times fast. Branching branches. Branching branches. These two branching branches morph to the needs of the wielder. Controlled by the vines of her garments, these pieces of wood splinter and reform into axe, spear, or morning star heads mid-combat. These weapons use a athletics v. acrobatics roll and deal 2d6 damage. But it does not include the 5 additional damage she gets from Beefy. 
So 2d6 plus 5 each attack. That is a minimum of 7 and a maximum of 12. Yeah, 17. 7 to 17 damage per attack is what you're dealing with with Sheila. Character advancement. How do we how do we move Sheila along? How do we role play her? First thing is she would need to improve her shade sustainability. Now she has the ability to refill her shade vessel, which most most players other than Nocto is not going to have. But she can she can recover her shade vessel. And she can improve that even by investing in other invigorating spells and summons. There are more uh, shade summons in her um, in her attributes that will allow her to um, to exhaust a shade summon, and it will refresh her her a uh, sip level from in her shade vessel. Um, that that would be worth investing in with this character, and something she would find uh, useful. Um, help reinforce the power of the the world tree seed in 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 find ways of improving and building on her champion is something that she would most greatly benefit from or that is foremost on her mind and lastly uh she would do anything to find access to find the mythical genesis this uh this powerful being who could literally somehow gather enough shade to create entire realms that could self-regenerate their own shade. That's going to be a whole other um, a whole other adventure in and of itself. And it would definitely be worth having. And as you can tell, there is a theme to all of these characters, and they will have a common story. Again, this... Um, the, all of these characters, the PDF to Sheila, is in the description of this video. She was the the Vitality Shade Mage, and I, I think she's a lot of fun to play if anyone got the chance. So go ahead, download the PDF, and go throw some shade at anyone, everyone. Bye-bye.